guys from Barbara and welcome to my ketogenic channel. As you know, this is a low carb, high fat way of eating, so we can enjoy a lot of seasoning and delicious dishes. And today I will show you how to prepare a classic sauce called Hollandaise. That's the mother of the Bernays sauce. It's easier, it's delicious and it can make ketogenic a lot of your dishes with fish, meat and today we will prepare the Hollandaise sauce with asparagus. So, let's go! To prepare this delicious sauce you will need just a few ingredients, very easy to find all over the world. 3 egg yolks and look how beautiful they are. 250 grams of butter, small means butter in Swedish, then salt, pepper and half lemon juice. After the recipe, please come with me because we will go, I hope, together for a walk in beautiful Stockholm because it's a truly spectacular day. Let's start by warming some water that we will use to cook our sauce with the bain-marie technique that is just a hot water bath. Then we should melt our 250 grams of butter at medium heat because it should never reach a boiling point. Cutting the butter in smaller pieces will speed up the process, but it's not necessary. While the pot with the water is warming up and our butter is melting, we can stir our three egg yolks with a spoon of water that will help the sauce to be creamier. But don't use cold water, it should be a little warm. It's also important that your bowl is bigger than the pot because the heating should be gentle and the glass should never touch the water underneath. This bain-marie technique uses the steam to cook the food and I highly, highly recommend it to melt the chocolate because your kitchen will smell incredibly well. But we are here to prepare the Hollandaise sauce, so it's not time to think about chocolate. It's just that when I use the hot water bath, I automatically remember that amazing chocolate smell. But let's focus and let's go on stirring our yolks like crazy. This is probably the most useful tip I will give you to prepare this recipe, but a true master chef will never agree with me. The tip is to use an electric mixer. If you don't stir vigorously, in Italian we say that the sauce go crazy. And I don't know how you say that in English. If you have a specific verb or a word, please write it in the comment below and help me with the English. It means that the butter or the oil, if you are preparing a mayonnaise, will stay separate and will never mix again. In this case, the sauce will be an epic fail and you will have to start preparing it again. So, my electric mixer has been truly life-saving because, as you can clearly see, the yolks already look better and foamy. Probably you already noticed that I took the melted butter away from the heating because when you add it to the yolks it shouldn't be too hot and, as I told you at the beginning, it never has to reach the boiling point. 
Another good tip is to add it little by little, so you won't unwhip the eggs and your hollandaise sauce will be deliciously creamy. Our plan is to add this sauce to our asparagus because it's a truly perfect combo. I always like to steam them, but I cannot tell you for how long because it depends a lot on the size of your veggies. A good way to know if they are ready is to pinch the end of their stem with a fork. If you don't have any tool for steaming, you can always boil your asparagus, but try not to cook the top too much because it's the most delicate and delicious part. Our low-carb, high-fat dish is ready. It looks and tastes amazing. So please let me know if you prepare it and if you like it as much as I do. I really hope you all like today's recipe and you all will subscribe to my channel so we can meet here with another dish always ketogenic every Monday at 2 o'clock Italian time but also every Wednesday if you prefer to see the same recipe in Spanish and every Friday in Italian so see you next week and thank you all We are in Aga Parken and from my time lapse you can admire the peculiar copper tents designed at the end of 18th century and inspired by antique Roman army tents. They were intended to be used by the king's lifeguards, but now here you can find a buffet restaurant, so if you come to Aga Parken you can definitely eat here. In this park there are also several beautiful ancient villas and in one of them, the Aga Palace, since 2010 lives Crown Princess Victoria with her family. As you can notice, the atmosphere is very relaxed and peaceful, so if you are in Stockholm I highly recommend to come to this oasis, maybe by bicycle, so you will enjoy it even more.